call is now being recorded. All right, Brent Porsche at topvelocity.net. I got Patrick Boyle on the line. Did I say it right, Patrick? Yep, uh, Patrick Boyle. Cool. And uh, you're currently um, at JUCO, but you just signed with uh, D1, didn't you? Is, is yep. Uh, D1? I'm, yep, I'm currently at uh, Sinclair Community College. This is a, a JUCO in uh, Dayton, Ohio, and I uh, just committed to play. Um, my junior and senior season at um, University of Cincinnati in the uh, American Conference Division One. It's awesome, man! Congratulations. Thank you. Well, um, you reached out to me and told me the success that you had, and I just wanted to kind of start, kind of let everybody know how you you kind of how did you find uh, top velocity and and what were you looking for at the time, and kind of tell us where where you were and what was going on in your career. Well. Uh, Coming out of high school, I uh, was set on being a college quarterback, and uh, so I committed to play at a Division three school. And then I, after my uh, senior year of baseball, I had a really good season. Uh, still was throwing in the high 70s, touching 80 maybe. Uh, but I decided, you know, try. To, I walked on, played at the Division three program, and uh, had a pretty good year. Um, but my velocity wasn't really where I wanted it to be. Um, in the fall of my uh, freshman year, I topped out at 81, and then uh, I decided, you know, I, I wanted to find something to help me gain velocity, and uh, top velocity was exactly what I was looking for. I wasn't even actually able to buy the program at that point, but with the resources that were on his website already, I made some gains and got up to 84 miles an hour just off um, some like his mechanical analysis and uh, videos he puts on, and then. Um, Cool. I was I bought the program in May, and in like the first three weeks, I gained like four miles an hour. It was up to like 87, 88, topping out. And then this fall, I uh, was still with the program and got up to 89. Awesome. So you uh, and that's uh, so when you got uh, that offer or that scholarship to play at Cincinnati, what happened? Would they come and see you a few games at that point? And, uh, no, play? I've actually uh, I went to a uh, showcase about a month ago, and I was just throwing a, a bullpen, and uh, they liked what they saw and gave me an offer to be a part of their program. Oh, that's great, man. So, what do you think stood out? Was it was it your velocity or in sure yeah, other I mean, things too? Would... Yeah, I mean definitely just overall uh, pitch ability and stuff like that, but. I mean, ultimately, to play at the Division One level, the first thing that they're going to look for is guys with velocity and the potential to gain more velocity. And, uh, you know, the big thing for me was uh, the med ball throws, just being able to work at max lower body speed without putting any strain on your arm and being able to work on the mechanics is really what I think, for me at least, helped get me to the next level. Did you do – how did you do with the strength program? Uh, that's and that that's the crazy thing. I'm still not nearly where I need to be with the weight ratios. Um, yeah. To get to my max velocity, so you know, if I keep stick with the program. I should still have, you know, at least two three miles an hour left in me, if not more. Yeah, I think that would probably break you through ninety, get you consistently there. I mean, I think it's good you have that background in football because you're more open to this kind of Olympic style training just because you're a multi-sport guy coming from a sport that pretty much it's more conventional to train like that. Mm. Uh, was it a, was it a, I mean, it shouldn't have been a, too challenging of a program for you to pick up. Probably it was more like the way you'd been training through football, was it? Yeah, it was definitely very similar to football training, but the big difference, it was more of a focus on, explosiveness and athleticism. Whereas football it may be more focused just on, you know, strength gains, mass gains. Sure strength. I feel yeah, like right. the three X program really made me a better athlete overall. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean that's really the goal of the program. So it's cool that you you learned that and I think that's why you had such success with it. So um you felt that the med throws are really key in helping you learn those mechanics that we define in, in the three X pitching mechanics guides? Yeah, I think that's the best thing. Cause, I mean, the basis of the program is getting that 
triple expect, uh, triple extension and you know hip hip to shoulder separation, and the med ball stuff. Right. You can do that at max speed without putting any strain on your arm, and do it in a, in season out yeah, of season. Yeah, I think. The best thing about it. Yeah, you nailed that. I mean, that's that's one of the key reasons when I developed the med ball routine was trying to reduce the loads that we put on the arm because we're not hitters. You know, we we need the reps to perfect movements. But if we went out like hitters, you know, they hit off a tee, say a couple hundred swings, you know, a day or say, you know, whatever, every other day. Even if we did it every other day, if we threw 100, 200 balls every other day, our arm would be you know, hanging. So yeah. it gives us the ability to supply reps without the the wear and tear into the shoulder and elbow. Yeah. Cool. Well, man, I think, you know, it's it's cool when, you know, you're someone who uh, bought the program online, took it upon yourself to, to master it and perfect it and commit to it and uh kudos to you man because not a lot of guys are able to do that um most of them that have had the success like you had uh, they've come to the camp and i've had to work with them a lot so i think it just shows your success and i think it shows you'll continue to succeed because when you're coaching yourself um it's just things tend to happen faster because you don't have to wait around for someone else another coach to help you so i think you're going to just continue to advance through it. Um, and at the same time, too, it's good for me to let guys know that you're a perfect example of someone who can, you know, take the program and get everything out of it without even working uh, down here with us. So um, even though as much as we'd love for you to come down, I mean, I think it's it's great to hear uh, that you're committed and, and you're, you're, you're bought in because that's the hardest thing. I mean, can you talk a little bit about, what what that program was when you started it. I mean, obviously it was something that challenged you and, and, and what did it take to kind of stick to it? I mean, initially uh, I went really hard at it right away and, you know, I felt the gains real quick right out of the summer. And then honestly I kind of went away from it for a little while because uh, in fall ball, you know, I'm, I'm throwing live games, so I'm, you know, a little worried, you know. But then, you know, this off season, through all our training, you know, I recommitted myself to it, and, you know, my average velocity is up and my uh, top velocity, max velocity is up as well. And I mean, the big thing with it is consistency. I feel like I feel like if I would have been more consistent with it, I could have be higher than I am now with my velocity, but I still have made really good gains just um, – you know, sticking to it for, you know, a preseason and a uh, midseason routine. Cool. Well, good. So what would you tell those out there that um, kind of in your position who spent time on the site, you haven't bought the program at that point, and you were learning things just because of all the stuff that uh, we load on the site. Um, what what was What was the difference between you doing that and then committing and buying the program? What, what do you feel like? Did it take you to another level? What What did you experience, and kind of what could you let everybody know? What's the difference between the two? Uh, I mean, the big difference is just having all the resources at your fingertips at any moment. When you buy that program, you can plan your whole off season, plan your whole season, and then you know your break time and your weight training. I mean, I I learned a lot from the videos you had online, but you know, buying the program definitely uh, helped me get to the next level and, uh, you know, just increase my overall um, athleticism and quality of pitching uh, a lot. Cool. So do you feel that being able, you know, once you got the, the the system, you know, the structure of I'm doing this on these days, that's really what kind of helped you focus in and, you know, go up those other – you know, four, three, four miles an hour? Yeah, I think yeah, I think that was huge. Just having the consistency and having everything broken down for you. Whereas beforehand I'm you know, I'm looking at the videos, trying to get as much as I can off the site, but you know, I'm I'm getting some yeah. stuff right, but without the program, there's stuff I was I was doing wrong that I had to fix once I actually bought the program, which helped me um overall. So I mean Cool. It, it's the best program out there. I mean it's the real deal. Well, man, I appreciate it. Hey, and I'm glad you did this. And I want you to come down to a camp. I mean, um, even if I 
if I have to discount it for you, I'll be glad to do it just because, um, you know, someone that's had the success already and it seems like you're just you really understand what it's all about. Um, let us know, man. I would love to have you down and, and even break you consistently over 90. I mean, the reason I developed the level three program was for guys that are having that, you know, are sitting at the door, you know, touching 90 or just trying to break through. And uh, it really gives you a lot of the key tools mechanically and then uh, with drills and everything. And then the, the strength training just kind of takes it up a notch too. So, yeah, man, I mean, I would love to have you down, man. Just just let me know, keep in touch, and I appreciate yeah. you willing to, to let us know your story and how you do this. And good luck with the great look. You know, we'll be – Following you with Cincinnati, that's an awesome opportunity to play. That's uh, is that Conference USA, right? Uh, American Conference. Oh, they're in the American, uh, yeah. Louisville and Central Florida Rutgers, all those types. Of yeah, they used to be. They used to be in Conference USA, didn't they? I think they came down. They used to play Tulane, so I was like. Yeah, yeah, they did. Do y'all play Tulane at all this year? Do you know? I'm sorry, what? Do you know you if play they play Tulane, Tulane at all? Uh, I don't believe so. Well, if you do, let me know, man, because uh, that'd be cool if you come and watch it play. I know we we uh it will be my senior year. We open up uh at LSU for three games too. Oh, cool! All right, I'll be at that game. We'll be down there. Yeah. Well, I've got, got uh, uh, Mitch- Mitchell there. I've got Mitchell. Yeah, Mitchell's. Yeah, he's on that that uh on the team. So you get to meet him, and maybe we could all be over there. Take you guys out yeah. to dinner or something. Yeah, cool. Well, dude, I appreciate this, Patrick, man. And keep in touch, man. Let us know if you want to come down for the summer or something. Um, All right. We'd love to have you. All right, definitely. All right, thanks, Patrick. Let me know if you need anything, man. All right, will do. Thank you. See you, man. Bye. Bye.